What's up everyone, I'm Steven here with Tiny House Listings and today I'm standing in front of a beautiful 32 by 10 Mondo, which has become a very popular model of ours, but this one has a little bit different features than the last one that we featured. Believe it or not, this one's heading out to Virginia at our Mountain Haven Tiny House community tomorrow. So this thing will be parked 250, 300 miles away from here. But before we send it out, we just wanna give you a quick tour and go over some of the features that are in this one that weren't in previous versions of the Mondo that we're gonna be using moving forward. So here we go. All right, so the biggest difference between this tiny house and other tiny houses that we've done, and actually all the tiny houses that we'll be building moving, moving forward, is this, believe it or not, is metal siding. I know it looks like wood, but this is a 50 year product. And the reason we moved over to metal siding, there's a lot of reasons, but the main reasons is that this is maintenance free. So again, it's for 50 years, so you don't have to repaint it. You don't have to caulk it. And it's gonna be with you for the life of the tiny home. And honestly, I think it looks really, really good. So this is a huge improvement from all the previous tiny houses that we built. So I just wanna kind of mention that. So this is actually two different colors. You get an accent wall, which is here on the front. And then the other color, which is more of a batten, wraps all the way around the tiny house. And then on the accent wall, this is more of a shiplap style. All right, so we're on the rear of the tiny house and you can notice again, there's that batten metal siding and there's a huge picture window, five feet wide, four feet tall. This is the living room area. So when you're chilling in the living room, again, like I said, this one's going to Mountain Haven. So it'll be in a wooded setting. You'll be able to see the woods from your living area. And if you look above that, you'll notice there's an egress window. So this is a full on loft that the customer wanted for guest sleeping and for you know whenever she had guests coming over. Uh, so if you can see that has a really good profile where you have the big picture window down below and then the egress window above. All right, so we are on the front of the tiny house and you can see here there's a very large mini split. And the reason this mini split is so large is because it's dual zone. So there is a zone in the bedroom and then there's a zone in the kitchen area that conditions the rest of the house. So you can have two different temperatures, however you want it. And also the bedroom is fully enclosed. So if you ever have the door closed, you'll be able to still condition that and the rest of the home. Uh, you can see also she has a double window right here and those are actually operable windows they're not a picture window and the great thing about that is, is she can get some nice airflow in there and uh, it just looks good so you have big views when you're in the bedroom so those are some of the new features of this particular model uh, mondo so now we'll go on the side and take a tour of the inside all right so we are in the living room area of the mondo as you can see tons of natural light there's windows full glass doors picture window everywhere so you it's probably more than likely there's no daytime where you'll ever need to turn the lights on. But this is a beautiful tiny house. And as you can see above us, there's a full on loft with stairs that access it. So that's perfect to put a twin bed up there for your guests or whatnot. And it really doesn't get in the way of the couch area. And um, so it's just kind of a nice accessory to have. So if you do buy a Mondo, a 32 by 10 or a 40 by 10, which is a two bedroom, the, the loft option is available for any of those. On the opposite end, we've set up kind of an entertainment area. And so you can put your entertainment center here. And if you notice, we have an electrical outlet on the wall, which is if you want to hang your TV there. If you're not a TV person or anything like that, you could set up a whole separate seating area here. You could put a dining table there, a desk, whatever you want. That's the great thing about this tiny home. It's so large that you can actually have different configurations that work, whatever works best for you. Then if you look over my shoulder here, you'll notice there's a very large loft above the bathroom area. And we do that just to not to waste space because the ceiling is so high, we wanna make sure we use some of that space. So that area above the bathroom is perfect for large bulky items that you tend to need just from time to time, maybe seasonal items. If it's summertime, you can put your winter clothes up there, vice versa. Uh, so that's a really nice option to have as well. The, it has multi pitches in the home. So if you look up here in the living area, there's less pitch to the roof. And then back in the back, there's uh, more pitch. It just looks nice when you're in the home. That way you're not actually looking at the same roof line all the way down. All right, so now we are in the kitchen area of this 32 by 10 Mondo. And as you can see, it's really big functional kitchen. Uh, we have double windows here. So when you're cooking, you can look out. When you're washing dishes, you can look out. Trash area, this one has an L shape, uh, which is really nice because there's an area for your trash. More storage right here, all the way down storage. Deep stainless steel sink. Uh, again, lots of natural light, as you can see. This one has quartz countertop. The one that we built previously had butcher block. This particular customer wanted the quartz countertop, which I think is really, really nice looking. So now we're in the back part of the kitchen. As you can see, we have storage above. We have a hood vent. This one is actually vented outside. A lot of people use the ones that kind of just blow air around. Those don't really work. Uh, so this one vents outside. So again, I mentioned earlier, these countertops are upgraded from the previous ones, the butcher block. These are quartz countertops. This is a three burner induction cooktop. Now, if you wanted to upgrade from that, you could do a gas. A lot of that just depends on your specific needs or wants. The most previous one we built was actually gas. And then moving down below, there's a storage 
cabinet that's made specifically to hold your microwave or air fryer. We're noticing a lot of people are using air fryers in their tiny homes. Makes a lot of sense. Those things work really, really well. And if you move down just a little bit farther, you'll notice that we have a floor to ceiling pantry for all of your storage needs. And then on the opposite end of that, which we haven't installed yet, is where your 10.1 cubic feet refrigerator goes. Now that's an apartment size fridge. So you can put roughly about a week's worth of groceries in there at a time. All right, so moving to the bathroom area, you enter via a pocket door, which is really nice because it's kind of tucked out of the way. Large 40 inch vanity. Uh, we kind of moved the configuration a little bit on this one before the vanity was over there and the toilet was here. We felt that was a little bit of wasted space, still a good layout, uh, but this was room for improvement. Flush toilet there. Now, if you want to do compost, we always add an electrical outlet next to the flush toilet. That's because most compost toilets have a fan. On the opposite side, we use our PVC tile shower. Love that. One of the best upgrades we've ever done for our bathroom. And this one's uh, three feet by four feet wide. So it's a lot uh, longer than a typical um, stand-up shower. That's great if you need to reach down and shave your legs. Even if you need to put a bench seat in there, there's enough room for that. So, and this also has a window in there, so there's natural light even when you have the door closed. So this tiny home, just like all of our tiny homes, has a humidistat. So whenever the humidity level reaches a certain level, it kicks in and you, that's up to you. You can set it to whatever percentage you want to. So now we're in the bedroom and this bedroom is a full 10 feet by 10 feet. Now, when I first got involved with tiny homes, 100 square feet, a lot of the homes, the entire home was that big. So as you can see, they've moved up a bit in size. Stage with a queen size bed, you could do a full or twin for even more room. Like we said, earlier there's double window here another window over there but again lots lots of natural light full-on closet uh, in this particular tiny house we put the hot water heater in the closet and that actually worked out pretty well it's kind of hidden away and it gives more storage underneath the kitchen which is where we have previously would have put it you also have the washer and dryer built into the bedroom in here so that's really great if you're in the living area you can actually close this door won't hear anything a lot quieter again you can do all the way up to a queen bed and uh, it fits nicely. All right, so that's the tour of our 32 by 10 Mondo. We also build this tiny house model in 40 by 10, which would add another bedroom to the other area. We're currently taking orders, so if you're interested in learning more about this tiny house or reaching out to us to purchase, you can go to tinyhouselistings.build or email us at build at tinyhouselistings.com. So anyways, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.